What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This is the last installment for the Goat Roped Achievement, part 10 out of 10, which is to complete all 10 Halo Combat Evolved levels on Legendary in under 3 hours, collectively. So you can see I'm starting this off, I'm running by everybody, threw a plasma grenade there. I'm surprised I didn't kill more people there, usually the sentinels exploding causes all the others to explode. But I blew by all those people. Grab the shotgun if you can from here. Throw a grenade. That was a bad grenade. Uh, it was a little early, so it didn't go through the doorway. But that's a good one. There we go. Kill Trocity. Throw a couple grenades into here. You have a shotgun, so you could easily blow through all those people. Shoot the carrier for him right here. Kills all the people standing around him. Keep pushing through. Go right here to grab some uh, health pack right there. Shoot one of the carrier forms right there to blow up everybody. That carrier almost took me out, that second one. Shoot that guy. Don't need him, uh, you know, living any longer than he needs to. And this is mostly just running past everybody to start. Kill that elite with a shotgun. Pretty easy. Kill these grunts. Be aware that there's fuel rods that they're wielding. So they do explode once they are unarmed, or unmanned, rather. There's another one right there, and that's it. So this is a cutscene right here. I'm facing the opposite direction. I would be normally if I was playing through it in the normal fashion. I just skipped the cutscene, and then I'm already facing this direction, so I could just start heading this way. And go over here. I didn't want that to stick him. I wanted it to kind of get in the doorway a little bit to kill more people, but we'll take it, I guess. Soften them up with some grenades. And then head on through. This level, the part time is 15 minutes. We're going to get below that. Jump across this hallway so you take less damage. You probably don't even need to do that. Just keep on going through. Ignore everyone back behind you. That was a terrible plasma grenade. I like to, uh, you can see that's how. I was thinking those first sentinels in the beginning of the level would react. And just blow by these guys. There is some health to the left if you need it. Just jump over those pipes. Otherwise, just continue on. Go right here and jump up. You could skip this whole room. There's health to the left and a frag to the right, which I just grabbed. Throw a grenade. Push through as fast as you can right here, because if you don't, they will actually uh, keep spawning right there, so. Grab the overshield. Move through here. Follow this path. There's a grunt right there. You don't even need to kill him. I took a shot at him, though. Didn't kill him. You could take a right and just go up the hallway, but it's more dangerous, so. I just took a few extra seconds to go through those little hallways. Go down here to the armory, switch out your whatever other weapon you have at the time for rockets. So you want a rocket and shotgun at this point. And you want to switch to your frag grenades. We are already at the engineering room. Only uh, 3 minutes and 45 seconds ish into it. So turn to your left and jump up, grenade jump up. Grab a health pack if you need it. Not pertinent, but you could do it if you want. Go up here. Keep on going. Keep on going. And right about here. I fall back down. Don't do that, though. That's uh, That didn't save us any time. That actually wasted time. That's the opposite of what we need to do. Man. So if that totally negated my grenade jump and all that time I saved. And now these people have had enough time to spawn up here. So that's not cool. But just, you know, dispose of them if that happens to you. And jump up here. Activate this. And you can also activate this one. But be aware that the other one is going to go back if you activate two at once. So I count to, once I get to the second one, I count to 1-1000, one, 2-2000, one thousand, two, two thousand, then I activate it. And that seems to work. 
for timing because the shutters where you gotta shoot the rocket into open and close and it seems like the 1 1000 2 2000 timing works out you could just go back the way you came you can see I'm not doing that and I'm wasting some time here but we're saving enough time as is this isn't, uh, you know, for the world record or anything. We just need to get under 15 minutes. Get out of here. So I'm going to run over here. 1-1000, one, 2-2000, one thousand, two, two thousand, hit it. And you can see that's open. We got that one. This one, we're waiting for it to open. Any time now. That'd be great. And there we go. Once you do that, once you destroy all of them, the middle ones start to go away. So I jumped to the one on the right and just go through this door. Go through this door and this door and this door and this door and that door. Tons of doors in this section. Subpar grenade throw, not required. But, you know, shoot your rocket launcher into there to soften everybody up. Clean them up with your trusty shotgun and then just uh, you know sit back relax enjoy the nice elevator ride up uh, to the top the nav point wants us to go down there but we've already been there that's old news update my nonsense Cortana geez so this is uh, the conclusion guys to this whole speed run again you could uh, save time on every level, ideally. You'll probably want to uh, save even more time because two betrayals going back to that is tough. Take the right hog and you can see I grabbed health while getting into it. And you want to make sure that blows up before you run over it. That's always there, that fuel rod. I like to go to the left. Well, when I'm having fun, I go in the middle because it's more jumpy. Jump up and down. Mad skills. High altitude. But I like to take the uh, safer path when I'm doing a speed run. Which uh, doesn't show right now because I just flipped over. Don't do this, though. I guess if we're not getting the this side up achievement, which is complete this warthog run at the end without flipping being forcibly ejected from your vehicle, that is. So just head on down here. This is very straightforward at this point. There's no real shortcuts or anything. Well, there, I lied. That's a lie. There's two little shortcuts, but they're very well known. I like to go up here instead of going down because it's quicker. And the shortcuts I was talking about go past this pillar and this pillar, and then on the left, there's a little tunnel for you to go down. Not that groundbreaking. A lot of people know about it. But if you don't, then hey, it's there. I'm glad I could bring it to your attention. It cuts off a good chunk of that loop you would have to go around. At this point, I go to the left. You don't have to flip a second time like I did. That's uh. That's actually going against what I'm trying to do here. Go up this big, big hill. Go down this big, big hill. Try to avoid all these hills if you can. Driving on a flat surface is much quicker. And you don't waste time going up and down. And also you don't risk flipping or landing awkwardly. You could zigzag in and out of those pillars pretty easily. Uh, you don't want to be going full speed. You want to be going a good speed, but not full speed. And that way you don't crash into every single pillar and slows you down. Make the jump here. Obviously, Foe Hammer comes to pick you up here, except that she doesn't at all. She actually dies here. But just keep blowing past this. No need to stop. There. Echo 419. She's gone, says Cortana. I like to keep 
as much as I can on the centerpiece, avoiding those bumps. Going down. I mean, this is the easy part. You've already done all the crazy, crazy. Oh, we went past two pillars again, and go to the right this time. Here's a tiny tunnel. To the right is the Thirsty Grunt Easter Egg. You get an achievement for going to listen to his story. But we're not about that right now. We're about to speed. Up ahead. Da, da, da. We know Cortana. We've played this many times. Sweet jump. A lot of people like to do a 360 on that jump. Uh, because there's a very small chance that if you take the jump like I did, just straight on, that you will die. You most likely won't die. Last time I did a guide on this level, I believe I said I had never died from that. Uh, but since then, I died once. So, out of the dozens, probably maybe even hundreds of times I've played this level, it's only been one time that I died. So just run forward here. There's a way to get the Warthog to snuggle through those barriers, and you can drive it up and save a little bit of time. But, yeah, we're not doing that right now. We saved plenty of time already. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. I don't know my time uh, overall for all these levels that I did it in. I guess I could go back and look at it and add them up, but I have not done that at this point. So thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe. I'm probably going to do Halo 2 speedruns next to get that, uh, that achievement, whatever it's called, monopolized, I think. So that is all. Let me know if there's any achievements you'd like me to cover. Otherwise, see you guys for whatever achievements I decide to do next.